Oh my gosh. What's good, YouTube? I'm back with my second video. Did I say, did you hear me? Second video. One, two. I'm just gonna jump right in. Most requested haircut in the barbershop. Comb over, hard part, the whole shebang. You know how that goes. Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be putting out a video every single week for you guys. And let's just go. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rico Black here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to successfully achieve a comb over using my technique. So we're gonna start by saturating the hair with water. What it's gonna allow us to do is separate the hair where the side part meets. Um, we're gonna want the top of the hair to kind of stick to one side. So the lower part, we can start getting rid of bulk and it'll allow us to do our fade easier. Okay guys, so the next step is basically pretty easy. We're just gonna remove all the excess bulk before we start our fade. Where the contour of the head is, is where we're gonna go straight up and out. We're not gonna leave any hard lines at all. It's gonna make it a lot easier when we do clipper over comb later on in the fade. But for now, just get rid of all the extra hair. So now that we're ready to begin our fade, we're gonna start at the temple and we're gonna take our liners and bald up the sides. We're gonna go to the back of the head where the occipital bone and crown meet in an upward motion as we go up and out, leaving no hard line. So the next step's pretty easy. We're just gonna take our foil shaver and just go over it one more time, ball it out as close as we can get. We're gonna go up to the line and leave about a quarter inch space in between. That way we can get it out with our liners later. So it's time to start getting rid of our first line. We're gonna use a different motion this time. We're gonna go in and out with our liners. Sometimes if the line is very stubborn, you might have to pull the skin to pop out those follicles but for the most part this should work pretty fine so we're going to take our clippers with no guard on it and the lever closed and go with the in and out motion again getting out that line we shouldn't go up more than a quarter inch so we're going to repeat this step again but this time we're gonna have the lever halfway open, but still a zero guard. So we're gonna repeat this step again, but this time the lever should be completely open. So for this next step, we're gonna attach our half guard and with the lever halfway open, we're still gonna go up and out and fade out the next line. So you're gonna repeat this again, but this time the lever should be completely open. So now we're gonna fade out the line with the lever halfway open and our one guard attached. So now with our one guard still attached, we're gonna have the lever completely open. And now with the lever closed, we're gonna attach our one and a half guard and fade out this next line. Now repeat this with the lever completely open. Now for our last step before we start clipper over comb, 
we're going to attach our two guard and with their lever closed, fade out that last line. Now we're going to get rid of all the excess bulk with some clipper over comb. After this is done, then we'll start to detail the fade. So now we're going to start to detail. First I like to use my liners and line up the edges. It just brings out the lines a little bit more before I start. Um, also to make sure when you do detail, use the corner of your blade and go with the up and out motion. You're not, no longer going to go in and out. It's going to create more lines for you. So make sure you go up and out. So now that we're done detailing for the most part, we'll still do one more touch up when we finish. Um, we're going to saturate the hair with a little bit of water so we can come over the top of the hair and we're going to start our hard line. Once we're done with that, we're going to repeat these steps on the other side. Hey guys, just a quick tip. Once you're done blending out at the top ridge where the hair starts to fall in the fade, make sure you guys use your thinning shears to soften it up. It will show a cleaner transition. I will also be posting more videos in the future on how to do that. All right, here's the final product. Uh, don't forget to add me on my Instagram on the link below. Please like, subscribe, share. I'll be sending you guys some more videos soon. Thank you. I'm out.